Hello Super, so I'm really excited to get to this module because we're going to get a lot of stuff done and we're really going to start filling out a lot of these different macro groups that as of this point are empty, like orchestration is empty, measures are empty, big scripts are empty, plugins are empty, and manipulations and other things like that. And not only that, we're going to stop making complicated macros and actually do something that will make most actions you'll ever have to do in Finale literally instant. And we're going to do that through the use of JW Lua. Now for those of you who don't know, JW Lua is a plugin created by Yari Williams that allows pretty much anyone to code their own plugins. This is what the plugin actually looks like. There is a class browser that pretty much lets you code almost anything you want in Finale and this shows you everything you could possibly code. And for those of you who don't code or don't want to code, there are a lot of plugins, many of which I've created, and you can see them in the menu bar, like all these plugins right here are JW Lua scripts. There are literally over a hundred JW Lua scripts here to make the most mundane tasks instantaneous. And if you want to know more about JW Lua, I've written an of no article that really takes you into the basics of installing JW Lua and learning the interface, which I will link to down below as well as a series of articles I wrote on of note and videos I put it on my YouTube channel that really help you get started with coding in JW Lua. But for now, we aren't going to be coding in JW Lua because I have over 80 scripts that we can use right now. So you can download JW Lua from the Finale Tips website, and they have both beta for 64-bit Windows and 64-bit Mac. I know technically uh, JW Lua is in beta, but it is incredibly stable and fully featured, so you can actually rely on this, even in a professional work environment. And in order to keep this course moving, if you haven't installed JW Lua before or don't know how to use it, I have links in the description that will walk you through all of that. Additionally, all these scripts are going to be available as a Dropbox link, which you can find in, in the description. So, so if you have Dropbox, what you can do is you can save it to your Dropbox. And then once you install the Dropbox application, you can in Finder, uh, go to the Dropbox and find all the JW Lua scripts. And these will automatically be updated. So if there is ever a bug, I will update the Dropbox and then you get the bug fix automatically and you don't even have to restart Finale. And again, the link will be in the description and more details will be in the description. And once you have all these scripts, whether you added it to your Dropbox or you directly downloaded them, in Finale with the JW Lua plugin, we just want to put them into the menu. So go to Manager, Menu Group for the plugins, New. And then find where you downloaded the plugins. It can even be in the Dropbox if you want the automatic updates. Just Command A to select all the scripts and then hit Open. And then finally hit Close and Restart Finale and you will have all the scripts in the menu bar like I have them. Phew, so now that we have exposition taken care of, let's go on to actually creating the macros. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to update many of the macros we've already created with JW Lua because they're faster. For instance, let's take the finale Z layers. You'll notice that we had all of these uh, that are several step macros. So let's see the difference in speed. So under swap layers one and two, let's delete all of these except for the first menu command. And we're just going to edit this menu command to call the swap layers script. So click menu finale plugins JW Lua, and then it should be under swap layers one and two. And there you go. That's all there is. All you have to do is call the menu command and the Lua script will run. So let's just see it in action. I'm going to quickly apply some music in two different layers. So we have that in layer one and we're going to have that note in layer two. And now let's just call the script. So control Z and now swap layers one and two instant. Control Z, swap layers one and two, instant. And now let's just for reference, see what move layer two to layer one looks like in keyboard maestro time. So control Z and move to layer one is D. So you can see there is a very distinct difference 
in speed versus and this will work for even the most complicated macros you may have and if you actually compare the speed JWLA performs this task in 0.001 seconds sometimes even quicker that's insanely fast and this is really where Keyboard Maestro excels because with the palettes we can create all these different meta tools so anything in Finale can be accessed quickly and more specifically we can create basically keyboard shortcuts for all these almost a hundred different JW Lua plugins and JW Lua scripts and access them all really really easily. So let's quickly go back over here and let's add some clear layer scripts. So we're going to clear layer 1, clear layer 2, clear layer 3, and clear layer 4. So clear layer 1, new trigger, we're going to call this trigger a hockey trigger for Q. That's because it's literally the key right below 1 is Q. And many command to call menu finale plugins JWLUA. And now clear layers should be under C, clear layer 1. Cool. Then we can delete any notes in layer 1 automatically. So control Z, Q, deletes notes from layer 1. Now if we go and just duplicate this to clear layer 2 and I use W that's just the keystroke right below the number 2 clear layer 2 duplicate clear layer 3 and I use E again that's just because it is the keystroke right below the number 3 and clear layer 3 lastly duplicate clear layer 4 and I use R because that is the keystroke right below the number 4 and clear layer 4. And cool, so now that we've done that, let's change a couple more macros that we've already looked at. And let's start with the harmonics. So harmonics add a fourth. We can actually delete all of this except for the top menu command. And just do menu finale plugins JWLUA and there should be string harmonics sounding at the fourth. So cool, let's just see what this looks like. And we're going to copy a new note into layer 1, nice high note like that. And let's just quickly see how fast it is. So click it, control W, V, S, and that was lightning fast. Undo it, and let's just see how fast it would have been otherwise. So we're going to just undo all these changes. So it's just for a speed comparison. Same thing. And we have all that. It takes it from literally 3 to 4 seconds of work down into literally 0 0.01 seconds like that and that's quick so that's why you want to use JW Lua with keyboard maestro because many tasks can be accomplished in just the blink of an eye so in the rest of this module let's just set up many of these other scripts that we have so we can use finale extremely fast I really can't wait to show you and I will see you in the next lesson